Here we are at the Harrier premiere, and I've been asking everybody, why is a film like this so important, especially in today's time? I mean, there's so much invisibility um, of our stories, black stories, but especially of black women, um, of black liberation, of black liberators, and especially women as black liberators who have led the movement, you know, for the past 400 years and trying to preserve our culture, preserve our people. Um, it's, you know, sad that we don't have a billion movies about Harriet and what she really was about. Um, and what she really did. The fact that, you know, slavery is still exists today. Um, we need more abolitionists. We need more liberators. And we need this type of culture to be perpetuated and honored. So, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, because, you know, in today's climate, we have people saying things like slavery was a choice and other folks using the N-word. And I believe that this film is super important. Have you ever heard when people are like, we have too many slave movies? What would you say to those people? I mean, you know, I, I, I respect the opinion. I know that... Um, a lot of the time, the problem is that all of our stories are greenlit and uh, allowed by white men, white people, um, and and so they're often told through that gaze, right? And so our slave stories are usually told in an oppressive manner, or in a very we are very forgiving, and we are not about liberation, and we weren't about rebellion and and revolution, and and the things that were actually going to liberate us, and and they don't tell the stories that we want told. So there are, I do believe that slave stories need to continue to be told, but they need to be told our way with with our handle on it through our gaze in ways that don't um, diminish the importance of liberation and continued abolition that honor those stories but aren't uh, continuing the oppression because a lot of those stories do continue the oppression and continue the perspective um, and for enforce it enforcing a perspective on us that we should be forgiving and that we you know whatever it is you know and um, and you know there's a there's a I'm not saying forgiveness is wrong, but there's I can forgive you and still correct you, and I can forgive you and still fight for my liberation. And if you get in my way, in that in the way of liberation uh, for my people um, and the most vulnerable, then you know some shit needs to happen. You know I, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Thank you so much. Absolutely, absolutely.